For you have taken refuge in the Lord, my shelter, the Most High. Psalm 91 verse 9. The Israelites in the wilderness were continually exposed to change. Whenever the pillow stayed its motion, the tents were pitched. But tomorrow, before the sun had risen, the trumpet sounded, the ark was in motion, and the fiery, cloudy pillar was leading the way through the narrow defiles of the mountain. Up the hillside, or along the arid waste of the wilderness. They had scarcely time to rest a little before they heard the sound of, Away, this is not your rest. You must still be onward, journeying towards Canaan. They were never long in one place. Even wells and palm trees could not detain them. But yet they had an abiding home in their God. His cloudy pillar was their roof tree and its flame by night their household fire. They must go onward from place to place, continually changing, never having time to settle, and to say, Now we are secure. In this place we will dwell. And yet, says Moses, though we are always changing, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. The Christian knows no change with regard to God. He may be rich today and poor tomorrow. He may be sick today and well tomorrow. He may be in happiness today and tomorrow he may be distressed over something. But there is no change with regard to his relationship to God. If he loved me yesterday, he will still love me today, and he will also love me tomorrow. My unmoving mansion of rest is my blessed Lord. May prospects be blighted, yet hopes be blasted. Let joy be withered. May mildews destroy everything, but I have never lost anything of what I have in God. He is my strong habitation where I may continually return. I am a pilgrim in the world, but at home in my God. On the earth I wander, but in God I dwell in a quiet habitation. Amen.